Biolab Uplink, Matt. It's a great time. It's always a great time, Biolab Uplink. Uh, Maven refers to it, the Biolink. Biolink. So uh, it's going to be Rise Nation. Chino, starting it on your screen here, if you're just tuning in, Rise down 2-1 in this series against AR. AR, with the addition of Happy, looking extremely good tonight, Ben. Oh, they look great. Uh, update for you. Justice, one up against Optic Gaming. Does that surprise you? Uh, I know they kind of just threw Nagafen in there. Don't think they expected to use them. And uh, to be quite frank, the only one Naga fan really knows on that team is Krim. He's seven in form. So uh, actually, it's not formal. I had to like add him to his <laughs> add him to his friends list to get him in there. So uh, some teamwork issues is probably going to happen. Yeah, tonight with Optic <laughs> Gaming. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, burns off. Going to go from downtown. Connects one away off. Happy with a five and zero oh start. He ran out of ammo. Yeah, happy. Uh, Happy's a great. He's been crushing player. tonight. And I mean, we saw him do that in the COD League with Aware in that first season. I mean, he started out hot. And, uh, you know, that Aware team after Sendra left started to struggle a little bit. Don't really put that all on him. And then once they get TJ and Hook, you saw his KD start to go up a little bit as well. So I think it's going to help out Anticity too. You, know, well, you kind of talked about the effect it's going to have on him as a player for the team. I think it's going to help him relieve some pressure. I think it helps. Trying to kill I mean, I think Happy is going to be even better than what we've seen. I mean, obviously, right. you surround yourself with better players who are going to play better. And, uh, that this is a good group of veteran players he surrounds himself with. Oh, legal. Picks up the assist. Plus, this just a 1-0 game. Currently in favor of AR. Legal looks like he's going to go for the saw. Oh, he's going to go for the stomp. But, nope. Gets killed with his bow. That one on Happy. Has had a great start with touch on 8-3. I feel like every single game he's playing well. Yeah. Oh, without a doubt. I mean, he's played pretty well in every single game we've had tonight, uh, casting oh, AR. He's going to be looking to see how they stack up, though, against some of the better respawn teams, if they're going to be able to slay as well. Uh, you know, Happy, obviously, can slay with the best of them with the AR. I think, you know, you said they think it helps Anticity. I think, you know, down the line, it probably hurts them a little bit. You reckon? Yeah, I think they may feel they need more pressure, being him and Happy, a little bit of slower ARs. They're okay, going to need more sense. pressure on the hills. He may end up having to change his role, because Happy's very talented with the assault rifle, but... DC Anticity, I think he was the biggest surprise at champs for me on AR is that he was able to shut things down with that foul. Still just a 1-0 game. Pretty slow tempo right now. Wait for Happy to hit this flank. See if we can try and make something happen. And have two plays over that. Challenges. That's one, but three plays down and uh, AR lose full control of the And obviously I think that's a play right there that Happy shouldn't really be pushing out onto the drone, but as he plays with you no know, more structured, better teammates, he's going to learn not to have to push that out. I mean, you play with some of the younger guys like Hugh and TJ, not saying they're not the smartest players, but that there are some things that they'll challenge that uh, I know a lot of veteran players would suggest not to do. A minute 51 to go. Pull this one. Goes into the second half. Wheats has the drone in his hand. And Tisty trying to help with the slaying. And Wheats could go for a one point throw here, and I think that's going to be the game plan. As he gets up towards top green. Weeps at not the best one point throw play you've ever seen in your entire life. Nah, he's been known to face a few. Like that one? Like that one. The rose hit, that was actually interesting. He throws goes directly over the goal and hits the pole. I don't understand how you're not making these one point plays. Because that basically. This is gonna lead. This should be a two point play for Rise. If they cover Vex, he's gonna be able to dunk that one down. It's gonna be Rise going up two one. You know, at this point, if I'm AR, I just do not allow Weeps to ever touch the drone. Like, why, why would you at this point? <laughs> he misses probably like twice as much as he connects. I mean, everyone's got to be able to hit those shots. That was an easy one point shot. Like, all right, he was being shot up from you know the left and right, but you have to connect with them. And um, with 50 seconds left, that small mistake gives two points to Rise. So this now looking very different going into the half. Yeah. Oh, it's going to, I mean, it's huge for Rise. I mean, we talked a little bit about it. I thought that they were going to come back in the series. They were going to need to win that CTF, but you know, blunders like that on uplink, it'll allow teams to come back. I mean, you make a small mistake like that by missing those one-point shots. That that shot that he missed directly resulted in you no know, two points for Rise Nation. So you figure he hits that. It's 3-0 for AR right now, but as the result of that miss, it was going to be uh, Rise putting in that two points. Away. AR taking way too long. They just needed to go with that. I yep. was ticking. He had a one-point opportunity, but stomped out. And it's going to be legal with the drone in his hand. He's going to play it for some yards. Three seconds left. This one right in the half rise. 2-1 in the lead. 
Looking over to the phase game. What do you see over there? Uh, looking over in the phase game, it's going to be Parasite with the flag going to be shut down, but they're up 3-2 to two in the second half here versus TK and CTF on Biolab. Okay. That game was really touched on before it's hide at 1-1 one, one in maps. Just looking to see if there's any other updates. No, no all the updates so far. But we will keep you informed with all the action as it comes in. Who do you want to see off the break? No, let's go with Happy. I think uh, he can control the spawns here off the break. He's going to be able to get up top with that AR. Should get control for this. Uh, pull out the ASM1. A AR team, but yeah, he's going to pull out the ASM1. So interesting. Maybe they'll make him the SMG player that you know they're going to need to get that pressure on. And uh, <laughs> he can do it like, all. Yeah, it doesn't look like a bad decision as he's going to pick up three players right there off the bat. And it should be a score for AR. They're going to be able to put in that two-point play. Gonna be AR taking that lead right away. Uh, very nice start to AR's uh, second half as Happy. I believe he was on a four streak there. Yeah, he picks up his fifth 20 kill. 20 and 13. Wheat struggling a little bit. 8 and 15. And uh, Anticity playing that very slow AR role. Like we said, he likes to play. Nope. Gonna force Happy to get a little bit more in the face of the opposing team, which uh, right there looks like he has no problem doing. Oh, he seemed extremely comfortable doing just that. Wheat's gonna go for the satellite drone. Can he stay alive? So he should be able to get up towards top purple. Has he got any teammates in a position to go for some points? This is uh, interesting. So he's going to try and wrap it towards green. This is very dangerous, by the way. This is extremely dangerous, but he has teammates in support. Wheats, of course. Oh, wow. They're going to get oh, this. All right. Too. His movement's on point there, and he's going to get the two-point play. That was nice. That was nice. That's basically, very dangerous, though. To wrap that all the way back to basically your own base, and uh, now you're giving up whole drone control to the opposing team. That's very dangerous. We're establishing it as long as Weech doesn't throw the drone, he's good with the drone. Like, does that work against one of the better uplink teams? I'm not sure. If you catch him off guard, potentially, but I, I don't, don't like, I don't so. like the I think a team. I think a team catches that uh, happening before it gets to that point, and they cut you off somewhere around you know, the canisters, and then you're kind of screwed. But uh, it's going to be Chino going in for a two-point score. He's going to be able to get it. Yes, he is going to bring Rise only down one point here versus AR, and it looks like going to be AR with control of that drone spawn. going to be interesting to see how they decide to push this. Happy is going to be taken out by Vex up top. Three players down for AR. It's going to be just Anticity up trying to make some things happen. Just needs to stay alive. Waste some time for his teammates to get over. Wins two huge gunfights. They should be able to hold on to this. Not give up any points here. Drone carry it. Potentially going for one. Managed to get it off. And that's a tight game, Matt. And I believe FaZe just choked an OT. FaZe just choked an OT. I believe they were only, they were only, uh, uh, you know, 30 seconds, I think. And Theory just ran in, grabbed the flag, ran right out. Theory's so good. So good at this game. His objective mind is uh, T1. Probably Antisti and Burns struggling a little bit. Really is just happy with the kills. <laughs> 31 of them, to be precise. Hugh goes 30 and 26 in that game. Goon goes 19 and 24. Oh, that was such a good pass. Can you get the drone? No. no not able to do Drops so. off in front of Chino's face. Love the uh, the idea from Rise, but not able to execute it, sadly for them. Game tied at 5 5. Does this open the door for AR? As you see, they pick up three kills. Vax, the only one alive inside purple. Teammates spawning inside, though. Elbow. Happy's going to be able to pick up two. The drone carrier trying to get away. Does he get that pass off? There's a player on top. Burns. Of the base as it burns, he's going to be able to pick it up, and he does. He's going to just throw that in for one. I love that play by Burns. See the players from AR are going to be spawning up over near that purple side. They should be able to lock this down, especially with the way Antissi has been playing with that AR. Yeah, Burns has to make a really handsome call that. Whether it's good for one, Happy is carrying right two. now, by the way. 34 and 19. Yeah, that's pretty much a carry. Drone in Vex's hands. He's gonna go for one, potentially could go for two. Looking at the map though, nope, gonna have to wait. No way is he getting a two point play off it. Maybe he's gonna have to, oh, well, that's the acid tank. You don't wanna be anywhere near that. You failed your jump, and oh, you get a fall. Not so, the best of the plays we've seen. All in all, that was very unsuccessful. Yeah, extremely unsuccessful. Oh, it's gonna be Wheat's gonna, tr is he gonna try and wrap that no, one? No, yeah. No, was Good play. Pull. Only up pull. one, only up one. Can't try and wrap that. Would have resulted in a catastrophic failure, I think. So it's gonna be AR. See if they can pick up some gunfights. Two going to go in their favor. One from Anticity, one from Burns Off. And Anticity is going to win another gunfight in the Rise base. Don't know why Wheats is wasting so much time here. He was just trying to make sure he had enough armor. But 
We've seen his one-point throws. They're not the best. He may be forced to go for one, but no, he's just going to dash straight in. Two-point play, 30 seconds left. That should do it. It would be a phenomenal comeback. If it was going to happen, Flex does actually have the drone. Highly unlikely. They need a two and a one. This is going to be the one. Connects. Two-point play. Can they kill enough things in time? Yeah, happy, happy gets the team kill with the canisters. Let's see. They can just no, get control of the drone. No. Happy's going to finish this one. Let's see if he can get the 40. Currently sitting at 39 and 21. That's the third game. That should be the 40. Yep. <laughs> Happy going to drop 40 there. Really, the entire series dominated by him. And uh, AR going to win this one versus Rise Nation 3 to 1. Yep. Good performance from them for now. Quick commercial break when we return. We're going to cover all the other games at 7.30 or 7 p.m. I guess I should say best game started late there, Matt, so there is yeah. that. Then we'll head over to the 8.30 p.m. games so we have some scuff products to give away to you lovely people. Be right back.